In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about PLCs. We're going to look at how to work with PLCs in the schematics, IO lists, and some of the PLC tools available. In a separate tutorial, we'll address how to create PLCs, modules, and more using the block generator. Watching this tutorial and the block generator tutorial will fully equip you to do anything you need to do with PLCs in SkyCAD. So let's get started. In the symbol library, I have only a few PLC symbols, but we can make as many as we want using the block generator, covered in another tutorial. Let's insert a PLC from the library. I've chosen a standalone PLC with embedded IO, a Micrologix 800. At the top of the symbol, we have some basic information, such as manufacturer and part number. Here we have the power terminals. These are the inputs. And these are the outputs. As with all objects in SkyCAD, we can double click to explore its properties. We can show the PLC in the tree view by selecting the project, clicking on the show tab, and selecting PLCs. By doing this, we have access to many PLC tools, such as viewing IO lists, modules, specific IO, and more. Let's open the IO list. This is the IO list for the PLC we inserted onto our schematics. We can add descriptions to our IO. These descriptions will be automatically updated on our schematics. IOs can also be labeled by double clicking on the terminal. The IO list will automatically be updated. To ease toggling from IO to schematics, we can use the navigate feature. Select an IO and click Navigate. If we wire a component to the PLC, it will also be shown in the IO list. Let's connect a push button to an input. There it is, shown under the Connected Element column. Terminals can also be moved around if you want more or less space, by clicking and dragging. As I mentioned before, this is a standalone PLC, but it does not have to be limited to only one symbol. We can split this PLC over multiple symbols if we want to. For example, here are the power terminals, and here are the IO terminals. It's the same PLC unit, just split over multiple symbols. We can split PLCs over as many symbols as we want. Just be sure to link the symbols together to specify that these symbols are in fact the same component. Notice that the symbols have been numbered and cross-referenced to each other. This is especially handy if they were on different pages in your project. Let's add a digital output module. Since we have two PLCs in this project, SkyCAD will ask which PLC we want to assign this expansion module to. I'll choose PLC1. If there was only one PLC on a project, the expansion module would have automatically been assigned to that PLC. We wouldn't have had to select it from a pop-up window. If we go over to the PLC1 IO list, we can see that the digital output module's IO has been added. Many different levels of IO lists can be displayed. For example, here we are looking at the IO list for PLC1, which includes all expansion modules associated to it. We can view the IO list for an individual module 
By selecting the PLC it's assigned to from the tree view, clicking on the Show tab, and selecting Modules. Select the module, and click IOs. And we can view the IOs for an entire project by selecting the project, and clicking IOs. Let's collapse this project, and open a sheet from this blank project. This project is completely blank, there are no PLCs or any other components. If we add an expansion module to a project that doesn't have a PLC yet, such as this one, SkyCAD will prompt us to create one. Click on the Create Add tab, and select New PLC. Select the PLC, and click OK. Notice that this module has some comments. SkyCAD has a feature whereby you select the module, then select Insert Commons. And all the commons are inserted. This feature is available by purchasing the advanced license. To create new PLCs, PLC modules, and add them to the library, we use the block generator. This is covered in a separate tutorial. SkyCAD also has a tool which allows us to import an IO list from an Excel spreadsheet and have that IO list generate itself onto the schematics. This time saving feature comes with the purchase of the advanced license and is covered in more detail in a separate tutorial. If we open the IO list for this project, Notice that the I.O. we imported was added to the I.O. list. Where the I.O. are connected to terminals, the terminal strips were also referenced.